Our second inductee is a 1950 Navarre High School graduate, a fearless legend, Thomas Swinkart. Tom grew up in Navarre, Ohio, on Worcester Street. He lived there with his older brother, Dwayne, who graduated in 1947, and his younger sister, Suzanne, who graduated in 1965. Tom's parents were Glenn Winkart and Louise Augusta, but he was raised by his grandmother, Carmela Padula, and his aunt, Tassie Padula. As a child, Tom went to Navarre schools. During his days as a Ram, Winkart played and lettered in baseball, football, and basketball. He was coached by the great Fred Bridewieser. After high school, Tom got an offer to play minor league baseball, but turned it down to play football for Woody Hayes at Miami University of Ohio. Winkart says playing for Woody was intense and tough to play for. He played as a defensive back for the first three years of his career. His head coach was the great Notre Dame coach, Era Parsegian. Winkart's senior year of football at Miami, Ohio was a big success. His team's record was seven wins, one loss, and one tie, carried by eight seniors on the loaded roster. His teams only lost six total games over the span of four years. After graduation, Tom hoped to join the Air Force, but when it was discovered that he was colorblind, he could not become a pilot. So instead, Tom served in the U.S. Army as a signalman. He was awarded good conduct and company sharpshooter medals. Three years after Tom graduated, he married his high school sweetheart, Nancy Kumpf. They named their baby boy after Tom. When Winkart coached at Perry, his record was 74 wins, 43 losses, and just two ties. In 1968, Tom had a very good Perry squad. He led this loaded roster to a very impressive, undefeated season. After 21 years of coaching, Wayne Carter moved to the assistant principal position at Fairless High School, where he would be in the spot for one year. Until the superintendent job opened up and he took that position. When he retired, he enjoyed playing golf at the Tam O'Shanner Golf Course, although this did not distract him from picking up his grandchildren from school every day for 19 years. His second wife, Beth, says that it's hard to put in the words the way Tom was able to connect with everyone he met. He had the ability to make a connection with everyone that he came in contact with. From his players to his fellow teachers, Tom would always be the friendliest person around. Congratulations to the Wayne Cart family.